What's up guys, welcome to a special edition of the Huddle Top 5. I'm Allie Payne, this is Brett Koontz, and we are recapping National Signing Day 2016. We saw some flips, a huge jump in the rankings, and a whole class come together in record time. So in no particular order, here are your top five stories coming out of National Signing Day. Let's get to it. Before we get started with high school athletes, let's talk about the number one JUCO prospect, defensive end Jonathan Kongbo out of Arizona Western College. He's a defensive end and he chose the Tennessee Volunteers. He also looked at Ole Miss and Alabama. In 2015, he had 55 tackles, 11 sacks, and Rocky Top is getting a good one. You know it wouldn't be National Signing Day without a little drama coming down to the wire. Texas Longhorns outside of the top 25 entering the day and they made a big push on National Signing Day. Depending on what publication you look at, jumped up as high as 11. Brandon Jones flipped from the Aggies to the Longhorns to help that cause. Another Texas guy worth checking out is Jeffrey McCulloch. The linebacker out of Houston is an opening alum, and if you haven't seen his commitment presser, be sure to check that out. He is one grateful guy, gives you warm fuzzies. One team that didn't have any surprises was Duke. The Blue Devils got all 19 signatures, in addition to two early enrollees, by 8.27 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 5.30 on the West Coast. Those guys were still sleeping and Duke was ready to rock. Yeah, and you know Coach David Cutcliffe does his homework ahead of time. He will have those boys ready to play this fall. One of the more highly publicized recruitment stories coming out of 2016 was defensive tackle Rashawn Gary out of Paramus Catholic in New Jersey. He chose the Michigan Wolverines on February 3rd. You should see this guy's profile. 626,000 video views overall, 301,000 just on his junior reel. Jim Harbaugh knew exactly what he was doing. At number one, the number one class for the sixth straight year, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Yeah, Ali, they graduate speed and they load up on speed every single year. It's not, almost not even fair. Guys like Nigel Knott, Trayvon Diggs, and Kendall Jones all showing up for the Tide in 2016. Yeah, and Trayvon Diggs' older brother, Stefan Diggs, ever heard of him? Played some pretty good ball in Maryland and now the Minnesota Vikings. They'll be fun to watch for a few seasons to come. And we're not the only ones who love signing day. You guys racked up more than 1.68 million highlight views just on Wednesday. That's a full half million more than we saw on signing day last year. Not that we're surprised. Yeah, and now that the Super Bowl's over, the off season is sadly upon us. But if you are a high school football athlete, don't wait. Download Huddle Combine from the App Store and get a head start on the 2016 season. We will see you in the fall.